Today we're going to be switching from division for a little while to work on angles, but you'll notice that there's a lot of similar concepts, especially when you're talking about breaking a circle into pieces. And so we're going to first talk about a clock. So this question is, and I want you to do it on your whiteboard, how many minutes does it take the minute hand to move through a full turn on the face of a clock, or a half turn, or a quarter turn? So a full turn would be going all the way around. So let's look at this this one, a full turn. So if I were starting here and I were to go all the way around, how many minutes would it take? How about a half or how about a quarter? Write those down. All right, a full turn would be 60 minutes, 60 minutes to get all the way around. A half turn would be 30 minutes, 30 minutes to go halfway. And a quarter turn would be 15 minutes. There are four sections of a clock. 12 to 3 is one section. 3 to 6 is another section. 6 to 9 is the third section. And 9 to 12 is the fourth. So if I'm just going to go one out of the four, if I go one quarter turn, that's 15 minutes. 5, 10, 15. Try this one. Three quarters of a turn. So if I start here, remember, this is a quarter, two quarters, three quarters, Four quarters. If I go one sixth, so think about this as if I have to divide this clock, if I have to divide 12 into six pieces, how many pieces will I get? And one third, if I have to divide 12 into three sections, how many minutes will that be? Remember, each from 12 to 1, this is five minutes. Write those down, pause your video. All right, three quarters of a turn. So here we go. This is one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, so that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. One six, 12 divided by six is two, so I'm gonna to to take two sections. Well, two sections would be five and 10. So 12 divided by two, 12 divided by six is two, so that's two sections, and each section's worth five, so five, 10. And then one third, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so that's 4 sections. So 5, 10, 15, 20. <clears throat> all right, this is going to require you to do some moving. So pause the video after I uncover all these stars. So imagine you're standing in the center of a clock, so you're going to stand up with your right hand extended as a minute hand. So make a half turn clockwise. Make a quarter turn clock clockwise <clears throat> and a full turn clockwise. Let's look at the front smart board to start this. So if you were to turn a half turn clockwise, you would turn all the way to the back wall. A quarter turn, you would turn towards my desk. And a full turn means that you're going to come all the way back to the smart board. Pause your video to practice that. <clears throat> all right, 90 degree turn. 180 degree turn, and a 360 degree turn. So 90 is very similar to um, that quarter turn. 90 degrees, so if this was 12 and this was three. 180 degrees is very similar to that half turn. If this was 12 and this was six, would be 180 degrees and <clears throat> 360 degrees is that full circle turn going all the way around 360 degrees equals a circle if this was 12 so 90 degree turn means a quarter turn 180 degrees means a half turn and 360 degrees means a full turn see if you can handle that pause your video to do those And last but not least, three-fourths of a turn, three-fourths of a turn. Oh, this one's counterclockwise, so backwards around the clock. Clockwise, so forwards around the clock. And a half turn counterclockwise, backwards around the clock. See if you can handle those. Today we are going to be talking about a full circle protractor. This is a full circle protractor right here. This is the clock. They're very similar. However, you're going to notice that there are many more angle measurements on a 
uh, protractor, the clock. So they don't necessarily completely match up, but they match up as far as following the clock clockwise. So I start at 12, or the 12 right here up on top, and I follow it clockwise around. That's how you're going to start your full circle protractor. Up here will be the zero degree mark, or 360 degrees, like we just talked about for a full circle. That's always going to face towards the top. And then you can move it based on where your angle is going to start. So this page is on 152 in your math journal. You're going to fill out these um, sections. This would be your clock in the middle. But remember that this has many more sections on it. For example, we said that this will start at 360 degrees or 0 degrees, depending on where you start. So clearly, if you're just starting here, 0 degrees all the way around, keep going to 360 degrees. Now, if I look at these little tick marks, I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to this first tick mark. So every tick mark is going to equal 5. So we're going to count by 5s to solve this circle. So this will be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then we got to 30. So that will be my 30 degree mark. Let's do one more together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now we're at 60 degrees. So we could have said 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 or 30 plus 30 is 60. Finish solving the rest of this and then come check it with me. So pause your video while you do that. All right, so here's an angle measure. Like we said, we're gonna start at zero always. So for example, let's say that we started here, zero degrees. Now I'm going to follow clockwise, just like a clock moves. So follow this grid clockwise all the way to 90 degrees. So this angle, measures 90 degrees. I always am going to line up this line with the zero degrees. So even if it were over here, even if I had, oops, even if it were to here, I would have to move my whole protractor, the zero degrees, I would move it all the way over to here. So I would have to rotate this so this line this left line started always at the zero degrees, so this always is going to rotate. But let's say it's at the zero degrees. Let's say my angle measure is, oopsies. Let's say it's here. I'm going to start at the zero degrees, and I'm going to go clockwise until the arrow, and it's on this big one, and I know that that is 60 degrees. Oh, well, let's make a tricky one. How about if it was right here? All right, I'm going to follow it clockwise. Remember, it starts at the zero. Always starts at the zero. One, this line. Follow the middle clockwise. Well, I get to the 30, and then I know this little tick mark after. It's five more, so 35. You're going to work on page 152 and 153 in your math journal. Use that protractor that you just labeled to help you, and then use this clock as well. So from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, so all the way around, full circle, how many minutes is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That's 60 minutes. If I were to go back to my protractor, how many degrees is a full time around? So remember I start at 0, I go all the way around, and I get to 360 degrees. So from 3 to 4 o'clock, it's a full turn at 360 degrees. How about 7 all the way over? To, so I'm starting at the 0, 7 o'clock, all the way over to 745. So let's count that in minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So that's 45 minutes. So we went from this 12 all the way over to the 9. So if we go back, so if we look here, 12 all the way over to the 9. How many degrees was that? 12 all the way over to this 9 right here is 270 degrees. Use the clock as well as 
um, the full circle protractor on page 152 to try to solve these problems. When you get to about E, come check your work with me to make sure you're doing okay, and then you'll check your work again at H. You can also work on these problems over here as um, an extra challenge, and then make sure to do your math boxes.